Assalamu alaikum, Elena here, the Muslim Travel Girl, and today I am doing a video on can you do Umrah after Ramadan? It's a question that, especially this time of the year, it's super popular. And literally, just 10 days before Ramadan finished, I got so many messages on social media and on my website asking when is the Hajj season, when does it stop, um, what are the dates, when can we go for Umrah after Ramadan, etc. etc. And it is understandable because Ramadan is normally super busy and super expensive. And then after Ramadan, pretty much quiets down. It's not busy, it's cheaper, it's more, you know, comfortable, it's more relaxing, etc. Unfortunately, so many people do the mistake of booking actually their tickets when it is the Hajj season. And I've had many people who messaged me and said, oh, I've booked my tickets then, can I do Umrah during that time? So I want to kind of break this video into two categories. I've been doing that now for seven years. So even when people were asking me and we didn't have the dates exactly, I pretty much pinpoint the date that they're gonna close and um, because historically that's what's been happening. And if you have Googled it, you've probably come across my website, muslimtravelgirl.com. So please make sure you actually subscribe to these videos as well um, before I forget to mention it and hopefully you will find more beneficial videos and more articles on my website, especially about DIY Umrah. Right, back to our topic, Umrah after Ramadan. So for those who are on Umrah visa, and I wanna get this out of the way because it's a little bit simpler. At the moment, you only go with a group and you cannot go by yourself. And also the Umrah visas stop about two weeks, um, during two weeks in Ramadan. So you cannot issue a visa after that. Um, it's simple, it's straightforward, um, and you know, it's also more expensive for people who cannot issue a tourist visa. Now, for those who can issue a tourist visa and want to go for Umrah after Ramadan, they can go, and Saudi announced a couple of days ago that you are allowed to go up until the start of the Hajj season. This year, 2022, Hajj season, starts from the 30th of May 2022. Now, if you are watching this video and you are past 2022, it is normally four weeks after, um, uh, before, before Eid, basically, uh, before the second Eid and before, um, you know, Hajj starts. Um, I would say for those who are looking to go, ideally, you would want to book your tickets just about a week before that deadline, just to make sure that you can still, you know, you can still make Umrah basically. Because if you are on a, on a tourist visa, Medina is not closed, you can go to Medina. But unfortunately, the checks are a lot stricter for those who want to visit Mecca. And if you're on a tourist visa, you're not allowed to do Umrah during the Hajj season. Only those who are citizen, only those of the GCC countries can actually do Umrah during that time. And that is understandable because that's when they start closing the country and start preparing for Hajj, you know, cleaning up, setting tents, whatever they do. And they do a lot of things actually during that time. So it is, it is important to keep to that. And also they will, they, they will make more checks. They do have more checks. Um, even now during Ramadan, they were checking um, just before you enter your, you know, um, before you enter Mecca, they were checking for up permits for those who were in Ikram, etc. So, you know, if you think that you might not get caught, you don't want to spend all that money going there just to be denied doing Umrah, especially if that was your intention. So please make sure that you book about, um, you know, it closes about four weeks in advance. I would say if you were to go, just go, um, you know, three weeks after, after the, you know, after Ramadan finishes maximum and then the country closes for tourists for those who want to do umrah for about eight to nine weeks we don't have for 2022 a time when the hajj is gonna open but again historically um it will open about four weeks to five weeks after hajj season um just because they again need to set up everything need to make sure everything's correct and everything's fine um, you know, clean up and then they open. 
Um, sometimes, I think 2019, they open about three weeks. Previous years, it was four weeks. I am always very cautious because obviously I suggest things to people and I recommend things to people. And Alhamdulillah, I've helped over a million people uh, plan and understand and read about DIY Umrah through my website. Um, and I'm always cautious that I do give advice and I don't make people come for Umrah and then they blame me that it's been closed. Um, so I would say if you are to want to go for Umrah after Hajj, the best time for you to go will be about five weeks after. So now it's July, um, Hajj, Hajj is in July, about 10th of July, whatever it is exactly. So I would say you go after the 15th of August. You start booking your, your tickets and your flights and hotels, etc. And it is a fantastic time to go because it is actually a lot cheaper. It's a lot less busy. It, you know, you can concentrate on your Ibadah more, you can enjoy it more, um, you can spend more time. And it, you know, hotels are <laughs> less busy as well. Um, so I would say if you are not watching this and it's not 2022, you want to make sure that you book four weeks, um, maximum about three weeks after, um, you know, after Ramadan. And then, you know, you have about eight weeks, uh, four, four before and four after Hajj that it is, you know, not allowed, it's Hajj season where Saudi doesn't allow people to enter. And then after that, you can start planning your Umrah up until the next Hajj because they don't close for any other, you know, for any other reason. So people on a tourist visa are allowed to visit anytime after that. There is no problem whatsoever. Now, if you are a tourist and you know, you don't want to go to Mecca, you are perfectly fine and you're perfectly allowed to you know, visit Riyadh, visit Jeddah, visit any other city. But if your intention, because on tourist visas, you can't do Umrah. If your intention is to actually go as a tourist and perform Umrah, that is not possible during the Hajj season. And they do have checks. So I would recommend that, you know, you don't book and then you waste your money and your time and you don't perform Umrah. So inshallah, just make sure that, you know, so the Hajj season is about eight weeks and it's about four in advance, four each. I am I'm more cautious, so I would say 10 in total, but normally it's less time of that. Um, just make sure that you give plenty of time. And if you want to do after Ramadan, it is also now that it, we are just after Ramadan and it's been Eid, it's much quieter. We've had friends who visited now and it's been fantastic, considering how busy it was this year. Um, so that is also a very good time to visit, um, inshallah. And I hope this video was beneficial. I hope that, you know, you can keep it as a reference, um, inshallah. If you do want more tips, please visit um, muslimtravelgirl.com for DIY Umrah, for travel destinations, for halal tips, for halal Muslim friendly destination, etc. And please make sure if you like this video also, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I shall see you soon. Assalamu alaikum.